So before this trip, I'd never heard of Abaco Island. Well, not outside of a random location in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. So as I began to do a little research, I was shocked to see how much of the info I found was connected to the latest, but not necessarily recent, Hurricane Dorian. I vaguely remember a Cat 5 coming through by that name. If the Bahamas had got punched by this storm, Abaco Island was the jaw where it landed. 75 are confirmed dead, and to this day, over 300 people are still missing. Dorian has made landfall in the Bahamas three times so far as a Category 5 storm. Dorian, the most powerful storm ever in recorded history to hit the Bahamas, roaring into the Northern Island Sunday with a 185 mile per hour wind, gusts potentially to 220 miles per hour. One of the hardest hit islands, Abaco. Leaving so much devastation in its path things on Abaco Island completely destroyed. Now, we're on our way to check it out. Very quickly it was clear the storm had still left its mark and the island was still getting its feet under it. Three years later, there were no kitschy stores, no local craft merchants, and no tourist shops. Most of the restaurants we called rang to dead numbers. Nine months after Dorian, the island still hadn't had any power. By that time, COVID had come in and like an aftershock, tore away any muscle of rebuilding that was starting to rehab itself. But even so, none of that really seemed to matter. Because we weren't headed to a big resort with a lobby bar and a gift shop. Instead, we found a quiet little house on the windward side of the island in an area called Casarina Point. The weather was perfect. The people were friendly and the water was the perfect color. And for a little island that refused to quit, it was every bit of paradise that we needed.